my mom is the one that taught me how to drink, right? My mom could drink. <laughs> I don't want to say my mom was a drunk, but I saw a mosquito bite her, and it went home and beat its wife. <laughs> we all make mistakes, but nothing brings me back from messing up in life more than the story of Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team and went on to become one of the greatest players of all time. Even the phrase, even Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team, can inspire others to give you a second chance when you mess up. You don't think that phrase is so powerful that other people didn't want to have that phrase in their back pocket? Every time a Canadian asks an American, how do you feel about the president? You don't think they want to be like, even Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. <laughs> now here's the thing. I tried dating. I think women of all shapes and sizes are beautiful. Now, I love big girls, that's my thing. I weigh 170 pounds. My last girlfriend weighed 225 pounds. Now, I loved her, but there's a reason why there's weight classes in the UFC. <laughs> we got into a fight, and I was like, get out of my house. She said, no. I said, if you don't get out of my house, I'm gonna throw you out. And then she just got real low. <laughs> try to move it. She just did that E Honda hundred hand slap. <laughs> we stayed together six more months. I couldn't move. <laughs> Comedy's a crazy ride, man. One of the craziest shows I ever had in my life happened this year. All right. I was doing a comedy show in a bowling alley and it's a fundraiser. And they come up to me and they say to me, hey man, uh, just before you go on, uh, the fundraiser's not doing too well. Could you let them know we're gonna extend it so that we could try to get some sales? I said, okay, no problem. I get on stage and I start pumping up the show. And I said, man, you guys need to get over there and bid on some stuff. I'm pretty sure this is a good cause. In fact, what's the cause? And the lady shouts out, it's for a funeral. Okay, that's horrible. This is not a good idea. <laughs> This is the most morbid thing at a place where it's supposed to be happy. I go, this is a terrible idea. Whose dumb idea was this? And then a the guy puts up his hand, he goes, it's for my funeral. What? <laughs> he had stage four cancer, and his friends are at a comedy show for his funeral, and they won't buy nothing. <laughs> They're haggling. There's a guy in the corner like, I know it says 75, but I got a guy. I can get the same thing. How about I give you 60? I'm dying here. 65? Like, that's happening. <laughs> so I finished the show, smash cut three months later. I come back to this bowling alley, because that's where my career is at. <laughs> and standing outside holding two big stars is the people from the show. It turns out, the guy had surgery, beat stage four cancer, and bought tickets for the entire place. They came to me and they said, it's from your comedy show that we decided to give it another shot. I beat cancer, I took all the money that I made, I bought all these tickets and I brought all these people out to come see you. I made them sit front row, I bring them on stage to tell the story. We tell the story, the audience is crying to tears, they're cheering. I said, come, stand up, let them see you, both of you, come here. And the guy's crying, so the lady takes the microphone, and she's like, ah, ah, I'm sorry, my voice is a bit raspy. I just got throat cancer. I go, why do you keep coming to my shows? And she goes, even Michael Jordan got cut 